Hello. Hello, everyone. So, obviously, different background. We are in Houston for Brian's birthday. The past two days has been kind of crazy, which goes into the budget for May. First of all, I want to say sorry for not uploading that much in, um, what month was that? April. Um, I know in the beginning of the month I said that you'd have a lot of uh, financial content coming up, but honestly, um, some of y'all have been getting under my skin and not necessarily on YouTube, but probably more so on Instagram and I just didn't want, I didn't feel like posting and putting myself out there and um, getting criticized for stuff. So that that's really a, a simple explanation for that shit. So some of y'all need to chill the fuck out. Um, and if you have problems with me or things that I do, then you need to unfollow. That's all I have to say about that. But Bitch. May is a new month. Um, and I'm working again. <laughs> which is good news. March and April tend to be slow months. I actually only made or I worked $500 in March and $2,000 in April, which is really, really, really low for me. And um, that's not to say that I don't, I still am waiting for some money from things that I did last year and stuff. So I'm not super worried about it now, but I think I will be in the next coming months when, um, you know, me not working in March and April is going to start affecting things. And um, that explanation is, I think, traditionally March and April are slow months for me and I guess for some reason this year I thought you know what I've been really good getting income for the past year I don't need to worry about it well uh, history tends to repeat itself so I've learned my lesson on that and also a lot of brands spent a lot of money at festivals in April and I am not a festival person just that time for the industry is um, very strategic for them and for those of us who don't like participating in festivals that kind of leaves us out in the dust what um i guess april was also a time where i was working on you know more of my outside projects like we're getting together our new line for um uh, some kind of like animal foundation kind of similar to support your girls so we were getting designs on that so hopefully in the next coming months we'll be launching that as well as I had an idea to start building a planner because you guys know I love planners but also has some kind of um, financial aspect to it every week so I'm trying to figure out how I want that to look and I would like for that to launch in December in time for Christmas in time for a New Year's uh, resolutions so I still have time um, that one has kind of been on the back burner but it's still something that I want to achieve um, so in terms of budget if you look at April it's um, income is sad um, and unfortunately the um, expenses are still the same but guys that's why as a freelancer i don't do a zero budget and i don't just have a thousand dollars in my emergency savings fund i know dave ramsey says you only need a thousand dollars that'll cover your expenses no i think that's not realistic for people like me who don't know when their next paycheck is coming who don't know when their next job is coming i think one thousand dollars is really low luckily i'm not at the point to where i've had to dig into my emergency fund which um i would like to tell you what is what the number is in my emergency fund but i don't want that number to influence you on your emergency fund for me i picked a number that i was comfortable with and knowing that i may have a difficult time the next maybe one or two months i know that i will have enough money in my emergency fund if i need to dip into it so pick whatever you want maybe it's two thousand maybe it's five thousand maybe it's ten thousand but just remember that in the process of you paying off your debt the emergency emergency fund is first before you start paying off your loans or your credit card or your car. So that's why, you know, I don't want to say I have $10,000 in my emergency fund and you think that that's what you have to do and you take longer building your emergency fund versus paying off debt. So if you're in my situation or even if you just feel like $1,000 is just too low, 
definitely build that up because you're not going to go 100% into paying off your debt if you're really uncomfortable with your emergency, emergency fund. But just don't spend that much time on it. We don't want you wasting time building your emergency fund. Even though it wouldn't really be a waste of time, but uh, find a number that makes you comfortable, but also something that you can realistically accomplish in just a couple months. Also, I said I don't do a zero-based budget. I always leave money in my main account at the end of the month, always. Because, example, I don't know when I'm gonna get paid, I don't know when I'm gonna get my next paycheck, so doing a zero budget where people allocate everything in their um, um, accounts to something um, just doesn't make me comfortable and again for that same reason so I will definitely have to cut back on some of my expenses unfortunately like I just mentioned Brad and I are moving and we actually technically moved two days ago um, but we're moving to a bigger place which means our rent is going to increase so not really the the right timing for me for that however our lease was coming up i think you know we just grew out of our space it wasn't realistic we had this opportunity for a two bedroom with a patio where i could like build some a garden and a place for the dogs to play so I feel like in the end it'll balance itself because actually it'll save Brian money because the two bedroom would be essentially his space to choreograph so he doesn't have to go to Glendale anymore. And um, I was actually gonna join like a female community. It's like called the Jane Club and it's just basically a space where women go and work. And that would have been $500 or so a month anyway. So I'm just using that money instead of doing that to go into our new rent. So at the end of the day, it, it balances itself out. Going back to my chart, um, I paid $22,000 towards my student loans in April. So I oversaved $14,000 from taxes. So I was able to throw all that money um, in April and then added a few more thousand dollars, which now um, that I'm not getting uh, paid as consistently as I used to and haven't worked in two months, I feel like wasn't really that smart, but I will be okay. So now I'm at, I think, $54,000 left on my student loans. So hopefully, I think for May and June, I won't be contributing as much as I have. January of this year, I contributed 30,000. February, March, I did 10,000 each. And then April in 22,000. Honestly, just maybe even 2,000. I think like I really need to lower my expectations. I just want to at least get as close to the low 40,000s. Um, or even into $30,000 left in my student loans by July because I, once July comes, I think I'll be able to um, really get rid of it quickly. So I don't know, it's really hard because like I said, um, the paychecks, even though I'm owed money from months and maybe even years ago, I'm still waiting for payment, A6, 2017, $10,000. So fuck you for that. I don't know, it's just hard. I need to lower my expectations and not feel disappointed in myself for not throwing more money at my student loans than I have, which you guys know it's really hard for me to not make my feel, make myself feel bad about myself. So when it comes to like money like that, but we are, as it says, we are halfway there. I have the left side of my financial freedom debt chart to go and we are on our way. Anyways, budget is going to be in the description box as always. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. If you haven't checked out my boyfriend follows my budget, that video was uploaded on Tuesday and it was Brian following my budget. So that was really fun to do. And um, this year, or this month, I know I said it last month and I lied, but this month we are going to be doing a few more financial content. However, I do know some of you would like to see more variety, so we have a couple makeup tutorials, we have some possibly a morning routine, which I haven't done in three years, so that'll be fun. And even maybe um, 
what like a skincare routine who knows but i am i hear you i read your comments i see them um we're trying to expand a little bit more but right now it's just kind of hard with um so many uh questions geared to finances but we aren't all just about that you know okay so i'm asia dang thank you so much for wa uh, watching i know this uh budget was all over the place but i don't really have answers for you <laughs> right now because i'm in a moment of uh, unease. So uh, see you guys next time.